It's that's just it just became Uranus. Uranus swallowed Saturn. How's it going, everybody? My name is Finplay, and we're playing Universe Sandbox. Today, we're kind of going to be destroying Earth, all right? We're going to destroy this thing big time. We're also going to try and collide all the planets together in the solar system, and I'm going to take one of the comments that I got in the last video and try and make my own planet. So we're going to give that a crack, see if we can make our own little fin planet. This will be cool. All right, so the first thing I want to do with Earth here is actually try and get a bunch of moons orbiting around Earth. I imagine some of them are going to crash into it, some of them are going to orbit around, some of them are going to crash together. It's going to be insane. Let's do this. Now we've got a moon. Now see how it's like automatically aiming it, right? That's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Let's actually just get this thing orbiting around. Alright, here we go. Orbit. Go to town, champ. Start getting around there. Alright, that one's orbiting. Let's get another one. Orbiting on the opposite side. Let's see how many we can actually get orbiting. Go. Oh, we've got a stack. We've got three. That's, that's two too many moons. <laughs> All right, got a few more. Oh, God. I'm going to get, like, another one going on a little bit further out. I imagine these guys are going to start affecting each other a bit. Ooh. Yeah. They're going to start. Oh, one's already just crashed together. And another one. We're going to get another one. That's two. Why is the game freaking out? Stop it. The game's freaking out a little bit. Oh, you can even orbit them, like, around each other. Oh, that one's gonna... Yeah, they're, they're gonna crash. Yep. This one here is just going around and absorbing them all. It's just eating them. It's like the planet eater. Here comes another one. See, the gravity affects it. And then it's like, nom nom nom. So what I thought we might do with this particular moon, right? I have a funny feeling that moon might crash into Earth. All right, let's turn off auto-aim. That way we can actually just go like this. Bang. We just sent its orbital tra trajectory, right? That's a real word. <laughs> we sent it a little bit further out. Oh, what's that thing? Is that a rocket? It's not a rocket. I wish it was a rocket. We're making the moon bigger and bigger by crashing more moons into it. Go, moon! Oh, that moon's going to hit the Earth, isn't it? Parts of it just ripped up. That was cool. All right, let's make another one. The gravity from Earth tears apart chunks of the moon as it comes through, which is awesome. Look at that. See that? It rips up as it goes around. And that chunk of it's just going to go flying out there to probably later come back and smack into the Earth. This moon is getting very close. All right, I'm going to start putting a bunch of water on this moon to see if we can actually turn that one into a planet as well. Come on, little moon. Come around here, champ. I'm going to squirt you with some water. There we go. Just spray it on there. How hot's that planet? I can't see. It's not telling me. Well, I just sprayed some water into space. That's completely pointless. <laughs> no one's going to be drinking that. Okay, how's this How's this planet going? Is this like an ice planet now? I wish I knew how hot it was. It's not telling me. Oh, hang on. It just told me for a second, and then it, and then it stopped. Right, so that's Earth. Earth is 18 degrees at the moment. That's a nice, nice temperature. I wish it was that today. Oh, we're minus 22 at the moment. All right, so we're a little bit cold. Just going to put a little bit more water on there. Right, and let's go back to smacking some moons into it to increase the temperature a little bit. That should bring the temperature up, and then we should, uh, we, well, hopefully get some oceans. Here we go. Bang. Take another moon, champ. Oh, how'd that go? How'd that go? Yes, look at that. Ocean. Our moon has an ocean. That is cool. Let's smack another moon into it. That's probably going to be too much heat. Oh, man, that is awesome. I'm surprised our Earth is still surviving. Look at this. At least we know if this ever happens, Earth will be fine. Earth will be just A-OK. -okay until we orbit a moon around it in this direction, and then... Ah! Oh, no, it's going all right. Uh-oh, what's going to happen here? Are those two going to crash together? Yep, yep, there it goes. Uh-oh. That moon is getting mighty close to Earth. Oh, now it's turning into a sun. We have a sun <laughs> orbiting around the Earth. It's not a sun, but it's an incredibly hot planet. It's, wow. That was 1100 degrees Celsius. That's insane. All right, let's crash another moon into it. Oh, champ. Wouldn't that be bright? Look at that. That's global warming right there. I wonder at what point this is going to crash into Earth. I think it's, yeah. Look at that. Earth is getting too hot. 200 degrees. 
That's warm. That That's a very warm summer's day. Oh, no. No, it's going to crash. Yeah, look at this. The moon is going to crash into Earth very, very soon. All right, I think this is the one. This is the one where the moon hits the Earth. Oh, it's going around. How is it still so close but hasn't cracked into it? Oh, there we go. Yep, parts of it are just flying off. And another one. There it is. Time to get absorbed. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I wouldn't want to live there anymore. What about you guys? Earth is just sucking up all the pieces of the moon. There it goes. Wow. That is so cool. Look at that. Now Earth has its own rings. I just realized I don't have my banana controllers. I'm going to switch back to those. And look at that. We're back to having a moon again. Isn't that nice? And it seems to be orbiting around in a pretty cool pattern. It's not smacking into it. What about if we speed things up a little bit? Whoa! No, it's gone. Oh, no, it's back again. Let's find out what is the fate of Earth if we just speed this up. So it's 289 years per second. And this it's just a hot mass. It's not great. Nobody wants to live there. <laughs> it sucks. This planet sucks. I broke it. I got my bananas back. See my banana controllers? Let me know in the comments whether you reckon I should use the banana controllers or regular controllers. Regular boring old controllers. Or awesome banana controllers. All right, now we're gonna collide all the planets in the solar system into the sun. All right, so let's get, let's get the sun. Where's the sun? Sun, whoa, that is huge. All right, let's put it there. Dude, don't look at the sun. That is too bright. Okay, I'm just gonna shrink Scale things down a little bit so I can see what's up. That's yeah, that's too much <laughs> Too much Sun take it back. And I'm gonna start lining all the planets up first planet was teeny planet Mercury Okay, let's put mercury like here bang. We've got a teeny little mercury I need to zoom into it because mercury is too small to see right now Where is it? There's mercury. All right, let's put Venus um, I'll try to line them up so that they're relatively straight. All right, Venus, there we go. All right, I'll put Mars about here. And Jupiter. This looks really cool, by the way. This is really awesome looking. Okay, here's my predictions as we do this, all right? I reckon one of these planets, because we got some gaseous planets here, like some, some serious gas going on in these planets. I reckon one of these planets, if not more of them, will turn into a sun, and then we'll end up with a sun colliding into a sun. And we've got Neptune. All right, right behind Uranus, the butthole of the solar system. And then we'll get little Pluto all the way back here. Some people would argue that Pluto isn't a real planet. It's probably not, but it's in the solar system, so I'm going to put it here anyway. It's traditional, all right? This is a traditional solar system. Look at this! Look at all these planets! That's a good-looking model of the solar system. All right, everything is paused right now, so let's speed this up. or we'll play it, and let's see what happens. Oh, look at that! You can see Earth is already too hot. It is too close to the sun, so it's starting to glow. It does. It's not happy. <laughs> it's not happy at all. Jupiter's right there. Look at everything, though, just getting sucked right into the sun. Venus is, like, having a, a hell of a time right now. How's Mercury going? <laughs> it's... It's only 5,500 degrees Celsius. Mercury's probably, probably, what? Why is the sun going blue? What's that about? All we did was add a little bit of mercury. Mars is turning into a glowy hot ball. Look at Mars right now. It's just like really hot. <laughs> it's glowy. Nobody touched that. It looks like a hot coal. Now, remember I said that Jupiter is like a gaseous planet. So the temperature of Jupiter is like rising quite rapidly. I wonder if it'll actually just catch fire. Because all these other planets, they were rocky planets when they smashed into there. This one, though, is not a rocky planet. Like I said in the last video, if you guys have ideas of stuff you'd like to see me try in Universe Sandbox, let me know in the comments. It's not, it hasn't caught fire or anything. It's still regular old Jupiter. Oh, it's getting up there, though. It's, get, it's hotter than the sun. No, it's not. <laughs> Definitely not. Here it goes! Oh, no, no, get in me! What just happened? The game just freaked out something fierce. I don't know why, but something something just happened. Everything's gone white. Am I dead? Hang on, let's just push this out a little bit. What has happened? 
Something happened there. Okay. There's a cloud of sorts. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Saturn is going into the cloud. Whoa! Stand back! Dude, what is this blue stuff? What just happened? <laughs> oh, that's... We just created a nebula. Now, in the last video, I, I created a few nebulas, and some people were like, Ah, oh, Finn, that's not a nebula. I researched it since then, <laughs> and it's a nebula, all right? NASA said that a nebula is basically like a, you know, like a cloud of, like, space gas and stuff like that. What is Saturn doing there? Where is Saturn even going? So, there's many ways that nebulas can form, and, like, stars dying is one of the ways. Um, stars, you know, colliding together is another one. But it's basically like a collection of gas in space that forms together to create like a cloud. See if we shrink this right down? Look at that. Bang. That That's a nebula right there. What are you up to, Saturn? What's going on, bro? Where's the sun? Is the sun gone now? I think the sun's gone. We've just got Saturn right here, just hanging out all on his own. And some other planets? <laughs> I mean, what is even in this white mess? Oh, look at that! Uranus is gonna smack into Saturn! It's- that's just- it just became Uranus. It just- <laughs> Uranus swallowed Saturn. So you can actually see this nebula growing. So all this, like, space gas and stuff is just moving outwards. Let's scrap this mess that we've made. <laughs> <laughs> and let's make an actual planet. Okay, and we don't want the sun to move. So I'm just gonna put the sun Biggity bam right there. I'm gonna have to guess as to how far out shrink shrink it down I'm gonna have to guess as to how far out this earth is gonna be um, Because if we put it too close, it'll be too hot But let's put it like oh, There maybe let's just tilt this bad boy all right, there we go. A random rocky planet. That rocky planet is so little. All right, there it goes. Let's zoom in on this thing. There it is! Hey, cool! All right. What's the temperature of this? It's negative 90. W why? Okay. Maybe we should spray it with some water. It's too far out, I think. Okay, how's this one? Ooh, this one looks all blue! It's got a weird sort of atmosphere going on. What's your temperature? Ooh, negative three. That's a bit closer. That's a bit good. All right. Okay, so let's uh, put some stuff on it. Okay, let's give this planet just a bit of silicate. I don't know what that'll do. <laughs> the size of this Earth, oh, the, sorry, the size of this planet is one, one and a half Earths, basically. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Oh, water. You can see it's getting kind of icy and the temperature's dropping. I wonder if there's a way that I can actually move this planet out a little bit. Without actually destroying it or sending it way off its path. All right, maybe if I sort of stand here like this, right? Go move. And just chug it out that way. Hey, hey, stop. All right, how's our planet going now? What did I do to it? Oh no, it's getting colder. Uh-oh. All right, it needs to be closer. Let's throw it this way. Hey, now the temperature's going up. All right, good. Uh, it's going up a lot. Okay, how's our planet looking now? Oh, it's very blue. I can't tell. Stop spinning it around like that. That is cool, man. Look at that. It's got, like, actual parts of, you know, like, uh, ground and stuff. <laughs> Land. That's what they call it. Temperature's flying up, though. Seems to be getting quite warm. Okay, we'll give it some silicate. I don't even know what that does. What is silicate? I don't know. Do you know? If you know, let me know in the comments. Can you eat it? It's probably that stuff you put in your shoes to stop your shoes from smelling, right? Let's create a moon for it. We, it needs a moon. Let's make one. Yeah, Titan. Titan's a cool moon. All right. Here we go. I don't want it to throw like our own, you know, throw it off its axis or whatever. So I'll move it just a little bit out, so it's quite a large orbit. So now if we teleport to Titan, we can have a look at Titan, and we can look at Titan orbiting around our awesome little rocky planet. Now guys, what are we going to call the planet? What's an awesome name for it? I'm envisioning people saying stuff like Fintopia. <laughs> I don't want to call it that. 
It's like a, a completely different name. I wonder if I can position myself so that I feel like I'm stood on this moon. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Come back. Come back, Titan. <laughs> we're on Titan. This is cool. And there's, there's our random rocky planet. And we're going around it. That's awesome. And there's the sun. How is random rocky planet? Random rocky planet is 27 degrees. Thank you very much. That's pretty good. But I wonder what its orbital trajectory is like or whether it's actually getting closer to the sun. It might get too close to the sun because it might not be like a perfect circle around the sun. It might be like an oval and there are times when it just gets crazy hot. <laughs> That's possible. I'm going to speed it right up so we can actually have a look and find out where this thing goes. Yeah, look at that. The temperature is flying up because it's getting way too close to the sun. See that? There goes the sun. We Yeah, we went way too close. But I imagine the temperature's going to drop again as it flies all the way back out the other side. Yep, see that? Temperature drops back down. What does it drop down to? So we have some really crazy extremes. It drops back down to negative 11. That's actually pretty good. If it didn't get so high that it cr turned everybody into a crisp, <laughs> it wouldn't be so bad getting down to negative 11. But that is the awesome planet that we've made. I really like that one. Let me know what you think about this planet in the comments below. I, I reckon I'd live there like three quarters of the time. <laughs> Not when it goes like up over 300 degrees. But thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, give us one of these ones and I'll see you guys next time.